so welcome to my another video and in this video I will explain how to properly and correctly install and then uninstall the Schrodinger free version of Maestro for academics uh, and to do that first thing that we need to do is to go to a web browser and onto the web browser in the address bar you just go to this address which says www.schrodinger.com slash free Maestro uh, and you come up to this page now I have already created an account so I will simply sign in but if you are the new user then you need to first create an account it is very easy to create an account by just clicking on the register now button over here for now I have already created an account so I will just sign in into this account so now as soon as I sign in into my account it says free maestro and it is by Schrodinger it is a very powerful tool for uh, understanding or visualizing the protein uh, and the protein ligand structures or the drug structures of drug etc so now we need to choose an operating system so currently uh, this video is all about installing the software onto the Linux system in Ubuntu so I will click on this Linux checkbox I will select both this checkbox because they are uh, very important it has an asterisk over there and I will simply click on download so after a while uh, it will ask me to save the tar file which is there okay so for now I am simply downloading it into the folder which says downloads inside the home directory okay so I will click on save and now uh, it is not a small file it is a quite big file so we will wait for a while till it downloads so I can just go over here and I will simply click on downloads uh, and if you can see it is the 4 GB file so we will wait for a while till it downloads okay so now you see that the file has been properly downloaded it is in the format which says dot tar file so I will just close the browser for now and I will just go to um, the home directory and within the home directory there is this directory of downloads I will go over there okay and here it is this is the file that we have downloaded so I will simply um, copy this from here and I will put it into the place where uh, it is easily accessible to me in my created folder which says buy info softwares I created this folder in my previous video so you can just have a look at it uh, so I will just paste it over here it is a big file it is say around four and a half GB file so it will take few seconds to copy the entire uh, file over here we will wait for a few seconds uh, so as you see uh, the tar file that we have downloaded and now we have copied it into the folder which says bioinfo underscore softwares under the home directory the next step is to just unzip or open the extract the files from this folder so I will double click on this folder so now as soon as I double click on this folder there is an option which comes over here which says extract okay so you just extract it into the same folder so like this it will ask me where where I want to extract so I will extract into the same directory which says bioinfo softwares and I will just press on this extract button okay so now as you can see the files are now being extracted into the folder which you see on uh, in on your screen over here okay again uh, uh, as I have mentioned earlier the file is pretty huge so it will take few seconds to uh, extract the entire um, compressed folder okay so now it says that the extraction is completed successfully so we'll close everything and we will just look into the folder that we have extracted all our files into so we will just go into this folder and we then need to run this installation file which is over here so in order to run this file uh, we have to open the terminal exactly into this folder okay so where is this folder located so just let me just close everything again and I will show you uh, you just go to files inside this bioinfo software 
there is this folder which says Mastro. Just open it, and here inside this folder, you just in the empty space uh, do a right click, and then you choose the second last option which says Open in Terminal. So a terminal will open exactly in the same folder where we have uh, extracted our files into. So I'll just zoom a little so you can see. Yeah. So over here we now need to run this install option. So let's, let's, let's just once check it how many files are there into the system by just pressing ls and hit enter. So now we need to run this install option. Okay. But in order to run this we will use the super user command. So you will write uh, over here a command which says sudo sudo sh then put a full stop slash n i n s t a l l install okay so this is the command that you need to write it into the terminal where this entire folder is been extracted right um so what you do is you simply press enter over here And it will ask for the password okay so now the installation has begun and it is now saying that it will install so we need to press enter to continue so now it is saying that it is going to install into the directory which says root inside root there is another directory which says opt and inside opt it will create this folder which says schrodinger 2022-3 so let's check where is this located so uh, I will close uh, I will just go to this other location this is basically the root directory when I press on computer so what you see on the screen is the root directory and inside the root directory as you see there is an option uh, there is a folder which says an opt folder so inside this folder it is going to install the um, software so let it be then we will just press uh, enter at the place where the cursor is blinking okay it says that the directory does not exist you want to create it of course there is no directory of Schrodinger you can see inside the opt folder so you simply keep it Y and hit enter okay uh, again Y you hit enter and when it asks for the scratch directory you you type slash TMP doesn't matter you just type slash TMP and hit enter um, now it says that you want to install all these softwares which come along with the bundle with the Schrodinger so you simply say Y and hit enter so now it is uh, verifying the integrity of the installer files and now slowly as the installation takes place you see a folder appearing over here okay uh, it looks as if nothing is happening but the computer is doing its own thing over there and it is trying to extract all the files and put it into the directory uh, uh, create a directory and put it into the appropriate directories okay so we will wait for the entire process to take place this can take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending on your computer speed again so uh, at least 15 minutes you need to wait and now as you have seen on the screen uh, the new folder has been created and it is trying to install different uh, different files into this this folder okay so when you reach to this place where it is saying that it is trying to create a directory which says mm share v5.9 for this version of maestro so whenever you come to this stage where it is installing mm share it will take at least 10 minutes okay so you need to be little more patient uh, don't feel as if nothing is happening onto your system the installer is trying to install the program into your system so be patient over here at this moment okay so now into my system it took around seven minutes to come to this point where it now it says create application launcher for maestro so you type y over here and hit enter put y and hit enter put y and hit enter put y and hit enter y and put enter Okay, so now it says Schrodinger software installation is complete. Okay, so now once you get this message onto the screen that the installation is complete, now you just check it uh, into this uh, applications uh, window. 
just scroll to the next page and you see that all the installation has been done you have your maestro installed and it is appearing over here so for now we will just close this window and we will also close this window for a while and check how the maestro works onto our system so we will open maestro and we will open one of the files that I have created in the previous video that is the episode number one so when it opens for the first time it will take around say 10 to 15 seconds wait okay so now as you have seen on the screen uh, that the maestro has opened onto your uh, computer uh, let us first check whether there is any kind of uh, problem or any kind everything works smoothly or not so for that uh, the thing that we will do is we will open the files that we have cre created in the episode 1 that is the first uh, unplugged video that I uploaded onto my channel so you just go to file and put uh, go to this option which, which says change working directory and we will choose this folder which is the first folder that we have created in my first tutorial so i will go to desktop and it says 6 cm4 episode 1 so i will click over it so we are into this folder and we will simply select choose i hope there is files over here um let me check which are the files in this folder first okay so uh, you just go to this file and we will open or we will go to this option which says import structures and uh, in, inside this folder so if you just open this folder there are these three files uh, the, sorry there are these three folders and we are interested in the resperidon which is a reference drug if you don't know about this resperidon and the docking that we have done you just go to the first episode one video you will uh, get the clear idea that why there are these three folders over here but for now we will go into this resperidon folder and we will open the first file which is over here okay so we'll go to this resperidon folder and uh, we will open this file which says 6 cm4 and we'll open this okay so uh, if i just do a full screen then you will see it, it looks something like this okay uh, now what you need to do is you click on the preset button and you just click on apply default custom preset so I will Just click over it Okay, so you can see your ligand which is resperidone over here and the uh, protein structure around You just click on the ligand interaction and You just click on this do not show this again and you can clearly see that this is uh, the outcome of the docking that we have obtained in the first uh, video and it says the interaction is taking place between aspartate 114 okay and in this settings tab you just go and click on this lid ligand so here you can see that which kind of interaction is taking place so purple is for the H bond so the H bond is been formed over here so this is the same kind of a structure that we are expecting so what is this basically we have just replicated the work in the first uh, episode of my session where we have docked the D2 dopamine receptor with a resperidon resperidon drug and if you just essentially see this uh, at the back of the paper where are we okay so if you just see this structure we have tried to replicate this this diagram which is over here uh, and in this diagram also you just see that there is this aspartate D114 making a single interaction over here and in the vicinity of this protein there are other different amino acids the same the same thing is uh, visible over here as well you just see this and I minimize this for a while um, okay so I will we will just compare this if you if you carefully see it's just one and the same thing uh, like this and if you just see aspartate 114 that is d i will just do one letter code over here so this d114 again this is d114 making this interaction with this nitrogen moiety which is or the nitrogen at atom so this interaction is there and surrounding this 
like n there are different amino acids which is making a cavity which is also shown over here okay so you can take the screenshot of this uh, and use it for your uh, report or thesis or whatever you are working on so this is a short tutorial i will just close this for a while for detailed tutorial you just go to my um, episode 2 video okay so this is fine that the maestro is working uh, correctly in this um, ubuntu environment so i will just close everything for a while uh, i will go and do a discard okay so now we have correctly installed the free version of shodinger maestro into our system the next thing that we want to do is to uninstall this correct so in order to uninstall first let us check uh, the files are over here we we want to make this disappear from here okay and for that you need to remember that where we have installed this software you need to remember which folder or which directory we have installed this software okay uh, so i remember so you just follow me so so open this home folder and in this last part other locations you click and you then go to this computer which is basically nothing but a root directory so you will click on this computer which is a root directory uh, in this root directory you will find an option uh, a folder which says opt okay so opt stands for the optional folder means all the additional softwares that you install by the help of sudo command or super user command most of them will be downloaded and installed into this folder which is an optional software folder okay it is designated as opt opt so we will open this and if you just see there are two files that we are interested to uninstall okay now there is another way to uh, open maestro that is also something that i want to explain over here in certain cases uh, you might not get this icons so what if you don't get these icons uh, and uh, if you don't get these icons but if these two folders are over there then probably you have installed the software correctly so in case if you don't have this icons i will first show you how to open the maestro so for that you just just need to go to this folder which says shodinger 2022-3 just open this folder okay i will just uh, do a full screen so that you can see it well so uh, over here if you probably see there is a file which says or a command which says a maestro okay so if you cannot directly get this icons what you can do is you can run this maestro command from the terminal from this folder so first we need to open a terminal for that from this folder so just right click on the empty space and you just click on open in terminal which is the second last option so once you open it we are in the terminal inside the folder which says shodinger 2022-3 which is the same folder which is appearing on our screen right so in order to open maestro from from this place from terminal you simply type full stop slash maestro okay the name should exactly match what you are typing and you hit enter okay uh, and your maestro will open uh, like this once again so okay so our maestro has opened uh, without any glitch so uh, the installation is perfect I will just close it once again okay so this is the way in which you can uh, you know open maestro if these icons fail to appear on the computer screen or in the app drawer okay so now we need to uninstall this shodinger so what we need to do is we need to go back we need to go to the root directory we will go into this opt directory and we will simply remove this to folder and as you probably know or i will repeat it once again in linux in ubuntu whenever you are installing any software you are basically installing everything in forms of files and folders okay or files and directories right so we simply delete delete these two directories or these two folders and your shodinger will be simply removed so what you need to do is we are in this opt folder inside the opt folder you just open in a terminal um, so make sure there is a opt over here slash opt uh, before the dollar symbol and you just type ls to check which 
which are the folders which are located inside this uh, directory okay so now what you can do is you can give a command sudo for super user because anything you want to remove from the root directory you need to give this super user command so sudo then you go to rm give a space minus rf okay and now you need to type uh, the names of both these directories so first i will write sch schrodinger okay and hit enter it will ask for the password computer password so you give the computer password hit enter and immediately you see that the folder or the directory is deleted directly from the root the next thing that you need to do is to remove this folder now so you again give the command sudo give a space rm rm is for remove and minus rf is to force remove uh, the folder and give a tab so the entire thing will come onto your screen like this uh, the name of this folder and the name which you have written over here should absolutely match but as soon as you press a tab button uh, it will automatically take the correct name and you simply hit enter okay it will take couple of seconds or five seconds at maximum depending on the computer screen and the folder will be deleted from this place okay so this is how you can basically remove the entire Schrodinger free Maestro version from your Linux system. Correct. So now let us just once check whether the icons appear on the application panel or not. So we'll just click over here and then you go to this. Uh, it is there. But once you restart, probably this, this will be removed from your, you don't need to worry about it. Okay so i have explained you how you can properly install and then uninstall the schrodinger pre maestro version uh, i hope this video is helpful to you and if you don't know how or if you are new to uh, molecular docking or proteomics study you just first need to go to the first four episodes uh, which i have already posted on to my youtube channel and these are the small videos that i am preparing to make your computer uh, usable again once you don't require to uh, use the software or if you are having facing any glitch in installing the software properly okay so yeah so let us just try and click on it once so when you click on it nothing will happen okay and once you restart your computer these icons will also be um, wiped off from this place so you don't need to worry at all okay so this is how you properly install and uninstall the Schrodinger Maestro version uh, from your computer. Okay. So thank you.